in this video we will learn about topic of heat in this video we will learn about unit 3 unit 3 units that is first second and third of topic of heat first is introduction to heat second is visualizing heat and third is measuring heat now what is mean by heat you may say that it is a sensation of something suppose if i take gas over here if i take gas stove over here it contains of fire correct it contains of fire by which we put our vessels and make some vegetables that's why we because this heat is conducting over here that's why this over here anything suppose if i take any liquid over here it gets boiled over here that means this is how heat is working in a daily life also this is how heat is working over here now what is mean by heat if i ask you one question that which direction does the heat travel suppose if i take one string like this over here and if i take one burning vessel over here if i take candle over here and if i take one iron over here iron piece over here and if i attach it to to this iron rod over here and hold it over this point over here suppose this point is a and this point is point b over here the heat is traveling over here first the heat sensation will come at point b afterwards it will travel from from b to a b is the higher concentration area of the heat and what is a a is the lower concentration area if i hold it hold it after some times i will feel that this area is getting hot where that means area a is getting hot that means as much as it will get hot i will remove my hand that means heat is traveling from from this point which is b to the point a this is how heat is now here our unit introduction get completed now we will see about visualizing heat now when i say heat what comes to your mind it means the sensation that we had discussed in a video of unit of introduction to heat in this video only now when this happens over here at that time this point get get heated then it is traveling in this direction that means heat travels in the area of higher concentration to the area of lower concentration then what happened over here area of higher concentration is over here which is this burning candle and area of low concentration is here it travels from higher concentration to the lower concentration as same way when the wind travels it travels from the higher concentration to the lower concentration in the cyclone also in cyclone this is one eye of the cyclone and it is moving like this this is cyclone how it looks this is called the eye of the cyclone and this middle portion is area of lower concentration and this middle part this surface part over here it is a area of higher concentration higher and this middle part is the area of lower concentration this is higher and this is lower this is the case of cyclone and in the case of heat this is higher concentration of the heat and it is traveling from from point a b to point a that means this is low concentration of heat that means is higher concentration to the lower concentration of the heat that is how the heat travels over here suppose if i take two blocks suppose if i take one cuboidal box over here box to one pipe like this if i attach this box to one pipe like this and join this pipe like this at one tilt over here and attach it to box b and if i attach it to the box b over here that means this is first point over here suppose if i take this as box b and this is box a then what happens over here suppose in this box a some amount of heat has been here suppose here if i fill with up this amount of heat over here if i fill this up with heat how does it travel from this higher concentration area it will travel in it will travel to box b that means box b also get hotter hotter and hotter now if i take this case and if i make it such that they are in the equal level 
that means what happens if I make it like this such that these two connecting pipes over here gets into the same level. This is box A and this is box B. The same boxes over here. This is box A and this is box B. Now what happening in a first case, we had taken like these two boxes over here. This is first and this is second. This is box A and this is box B over here. That means what happening over here, box A, which is heat inside this bo box A, get traveling to the box B with the higher concentration to the lower concentration. This is how the heat travels. But if I make it such that the heat is traveling equally over here. This is equal amount of heat over here and equal amount of heat over here. And it is straight like this. That means this condition is called as thermal equilibrium. This is called as thermal equilibrium. This is how the thermal equilibrium looks. From where the, both the areas contain the same amount of heat regions. Now I will ask you one question. That suppose here is one box over here and here is connecting pipe. Here is amount of heat, some amount of heat. And here is nothing amount of heat. If I let it such so that so much time had gone. If I let it like this for one hour, if I let it for one hour, then tell me that which box will contain of higher concentration of the heat? You will uh, you will say that this box, but actually the I had connected this with the pipe over here. That means this heat will travel to this box. That means at that time more more amount of heat will be in this box compared to this box. In first case, this higher concentration of heat was here, but in the second case, after one hour, heat will travel from this box to this box over here. That means what happens the, from the, this region which is higher concentration to the lower concentration. It is traveling. Likewise, that means suppose this is op option A as block A. Block A and option B is block B. Or C option is thermal equilibrium. C option is both contains of same amount. And D option is none of this. Then what will be the correct answer? These four options are given. And they are asked that in which region after one hour the heat will be there. At that time option B is correct. Because after some times block B contains a higher concentration of the heat. That means from this higher concentration it is traveling to lower concentration. That means if we let it for one hour, two hour, three hours. That means amount of heat will increase, increase and here it will decrease. That means here increasing, here decreases from here, from here to here. That means it is increasing over here. That means block B, block B is the answer which contains of higher concentration of the heat. When it is get traveling from this higher concentration of block A to this block B over here. That means answer is option number B. That is block B contains of higher concentration of the heat. Next we will see about measuring heat. Now after some time when you got sick, at the time what what do you do? You go to the doctors. At that time, what does doctor do? Doctor will check your temperature. How do we check your temperature? As same way. At first time, what happens? Doctor will put your his hand on your neck or your head and check your temperature. Then what happens? How does the doctor feel the sensation of your heat? <laughs> because you have some sickness over here. That means your body temperature has increased. Correct? That means the high, the, suppose there is heat over here. That means doctor will put your hand over here. At that time what happened? The heat transferred from, to his hand and we, he get a sensation. 
differentiation of it. That means again heat travels in a higher concentration to the lower concentration. That is the basic of the heat. From here it is traveling to the doctor's hand and doctor can feel the sensation of your heat. That means or in other way he will use something called as thermometer. That means it is used to check your temperature. There are two kinds of thermometers that are used or temperature that are used. First is clinical thermometer and next is laboratory. These two are the types. In clinical thermometer what happens is that it contains of this long tube like creature over here and here is some ball like things and it is like this over here and here is Fahrenheit and here is centigrade over here or Celsius that the same and marking over here and what happens in this clinical at that time nurses will come and then they will shake the thermometer and then give it to you to take, check the temperature this over here we can see this point over here and here some and here we can see the plain path over here. That means what happens over here is that when we put this inside our mouth at that time the temperature will get increased and, and we can see the amount of temperature which is there in your body. That means we can check our own temperature. Now we can see this liquid red light thing. That red light thing is called as mercury. Now what is mean by mercury? Mercury is one kind of a liquid which is very poisonous to our body. That means some may say that mercury is very poisonous to our body. That means we put this part over here in our mouth then how does the temperature increase? Because temperature get the force like this and at that time mercury get increased and we can see the level of temperature over here. Now because of this mercury liquid is very poisonous to us. That means by using that WHO which is the World Health Organization has created something called as digital thermometer which looks like this. Which we, here is some metal like things and here is digital things over here. If you put this in our mouth or in our shoulder over here we can see that it will tell us how many degrees Celsius is that or how many degrees Fahrenheit is that. This is how digital thermometer is there. That is used in hospitals. Next is laboratory. In laboratory what is there? In laboratory the thermometer is there to use that. How much is that? How much the temperature is the boiling point of water? Like that. Likewise. In the laboratory there is like this thermometer over here. Here I am marking and here I am marking. And over here if you put out this then it, it level will be same only. That means what happens over here at this time the same is over here. But what happens over here there is little bit of turn over here. Because of that what happens the temperature over here get increases and it remains as it is. That means it must have to shake it. That means it will come to a original level. That means over here it will be correct. That means if we put we can see the temperature afterwards it will remain as it is. That means this is how the temperature can be measured. There are two units for measuring temperature. That is Fahrenheit or Celsius or centigrade. That is the same. That means what is fire? We can answer this. That fire is the heat and it gives out light also. That means it contains of heat energy also. That means it contains heat energy also. Because of that we can see that that means we can say that sun, sun is made up of two liquid, two elements over there. These are hydrogen and helium because, why do I say they, these are elements? Because they lie on the periodic table. That means hydrogen and helium, hydrogen get combined together, we get helium. Likewise is the heat. Now here a unit of first, second, third of topic heat in this video get completed.